Okay, so we're going to build a quick sewer system for Unity in Google SketchUp. You wouldn't normally use Unit or Google SketchUp, but for this case, it's just quick and easy. Okay, so we go to rectangle, drag it up. Should be okay. Get the pencil tool, midpoint, click release. Click and release again. And here also. Midpoint. Midpoint and midpoint again. So you go for the arc tool, left click, release, left click, release, and up the top. So we delete these tool, delete these corners here. And these again. This. Okay. We now have a quick outline of a sewer system. We get the pencil tool, go for the midpoint here, go along the green axes. follow me and this face will go in there okay there we go push pull and we go a little bit higher than what we built already delete this construction line here if you don't delete the construction lines they will appear in your model when you bring them into unity and you don't want that okay now Highlight these, we'll also reverse the faces because two things can happen. If you don't generate colliders in Unity, you'll fall through the model. And also in SketchUp, if you don't reverse the faces, the faces, because we're going to be inside, will have to be white on the inside. So you reverse the faces. Otherwise, again, you'll fall through the model. So we just click this face here and delete. Now we're going to choose materials, window materials. Brick and cladding, and we use this brick walk here. I'm going to make sure I get all these faces here. I should leave them all there. texture on the inside or a different material. So we'll go for stone this time. We'll make the floor tiled and use this the top and the bottom. Okay, that should be fine. So you can miss one more wall, that's wall there. Yeah. Okay again we could do a lot more with this if we wanted, but this is just quick and easy. We could have a level here higher, make the roof higher steps going up to another level here if we wanted as well. So this is just going to be quick and easy. Now that's our model finished. Okay. So I just click on the arrow here and delete herself. And we're going to go file export 3D model and go desktop sewer okay and just options yep that's okay there we'll call it sewer one and export okay 
So here is now our file of the sewer. We went to Unity and we just go new project and create. Okay, so we go game object, create other terrain. Double click on it. Okay, just roll in a little bit. Minimize the screen a bit, actually. So now we're going to drag our folder with the sewer we just made into and drop it into our assets folder. Click on our sewer and scale factor I think is 0 0.03. We'll check it out in a moment. Let's go apply. Drag it into the scene. F to focus. Now, let's maximize the screen here. That should be okay. It looks fine. Might be a little bit low here because we can't see the brickwork here. So we just click on the sewer here and we make it yeah, 0.05. You can change the axes here as well. This is Y, which is up and down. X is left and right. Okay, and Z will be forward and back. So red, green, and blue. Now, so we need to import assets, import package, character controller, and go import, and I'm going to put in Force person controller, left click, drag, and put them in here. Lift them up a little bit higher. Okay. Should be okay. Now we're going to rotate them. Yeah, 180. So as he's looking in this direction instead of looking out that direction. Okay, behind them. Now if we click play, it's very dark. So, and we didn't generate a collider. Okay, so we go into our sewer here and we go generate collider so we can't fall through it. Click apply. And we're gonna add a light. So we go point light. It should be fine. Don't really like the look of that, but we'll just see how we get on with this now. Yeah, that's okay for the moment. So I'm actually going to bring the light back a little bit, and I'm going to make it green. Yeah, it looks a little, looks a little bit more menacing. Okay, so we click on the light here, control C to copy it, control V, control V, control V. So we can position these all up throughout the model. Okay, so we click play. So we might need to bring this point light here up a little bit. So again, we should have given these proper names. So we press F2. Point light. Yeah, that's point light. F2. We call it two. Should be okay, so we'll click play now for a moment. Okay, and we 
can add some lights in here if we want to as well. So we'll do that again. So we'll just click on this light here. Actually, we might, we might actually create. Let's bring that down a little bit. Okay. So we're going to go game object, create other pint light. This will be white now. Click on the Y axis. And that should be inside now. So again, we can bring that down a little bit further into the scene and change it and play around with it as much as we like. See how this looks now. Yep. So again, it's up to you. You can change the intensity. But again, it's just tinkering around and changing. So again, our brickwork, don't forget we can change the specularity of those, so the diffuse, okay? So we go in here again to our sewer materials, diffuse, detail, and actually bring in a little bit more assets. The one I'm looking for in particular is in the water package. So now if I go to select here, water bumped, yep, yeah, that's grand. We click play the brickwork, yeah. And again, these are just flat pictures, we can change all that again. So you can click in here. And go diffuse again. And the same for this. a lot more real. Okay. Now that brickwork can be changed. There is a piece of software that will create proper diffuse materials for those materials here, okay, for those textures, which we will talk again about in class.